Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial we are going to understand the non-disjunction of chromosome and what are the different outcomes of non-disjunction of chromosome. Okay, so let us talk about non-disjunction of chromosome. Okay, so whenever we talk about non-disjunction of chromosome that means the failure for the disjunction of chromosome during the cell division. Okay, so whenever we talk about non-disjunction, it could be mitosis or meiosis. Both the type of cell division, there can be mistakes of chromosome segregation during the cell division. Okay, so let's say here, let me draw a cell. Let's say here it's a cell. Now what we know in normal cell division, what happens, there are sequential stages of cell division and in those sequential stages, one is um, anaphase, prophase, metaphase, then anaphase, then telophase. So the most important stages for the alignment of chromosome is the metaphase. And after that, the segregational step occurs in anaphase. In anaphase. So these are the two stages that are very very important during the chromosomal segregation. Now in metaphase all the chromosomes start to align at the center of at the center let me draw it like that center of the cell. After that during anaphase they start to separate from each other. So the separation will begin like that. So alignment is done. So if it is a metaphase, then the alignment will be this way. So the alignment will look something like this. Okay. So if I draw the spindles, that will attach to the chromosome in this way and they will drag them in different orientations. They start to just form in the metaphase. Okay, so that's how the segregation occurs. So first the alignment of the chromosome in the metaphasic plate, then the separation of those chromosomes from this metaphasic plate. Okay, so during this segregation what happens? It may result that this bond of holding these chromosomes together is broken. That means the microtubule, which is the most important part here, the microtubule due to certain region, this is kind of broken. As a result of this broken microtubule, the, the normal separation of chromosome is not possible. Right? For example, let's say if this is broken, if this is broken, so as a result what happens? The way of attaching or dragging them towards this pole of the cell is not possible. So as a result, after the cell division, sometime one cell receives, let's say three along with that, this and this. So five copies of, so this is cell one, this is cell two after the division. So let's say it receives five copies of the chromosome, but it should receive only 3 but it receives 5 now and in this case it should receive 3 but it now receives only 1. So that's the difference during this chromosomal segregation. Okay, so that's how the different non-disjunction occurs. So usually the process that I have talked about this is during mitosis. This is during mitosis cell division it may also result during the meiosis especially in meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 also right now in this case of cell division if this kind of modifications or chromosomal segregation mistakes occur they generate this kind of abnormal chromosome containing cells right now this different type of abnormal chromosome containing cells are termed differently right so how can we divide them we can divide those non disjunction in two ways so, non-disjunction in two ways, one is, so we can divide it, let's say, in this way, so, so change in chromosome number by one, or we can write 
change in chromosome number in set what does it mean so due to this kind of non disjunction what can happen it may happen that a cell usually it requires to have let's say uh, let's say three, four chromosomes that's the normal case right now what what it does actually let's say let's draw two it will be helpy, helpful for understand. So let's say the chromosome normally have two chromosomes. But now due to this disjunction, it is having only one. Right? So it is 2n. But now what we get due to, due to this non-disjunction, we get one chromosome only. Right? And this is now convert into 2n minus 1. Right? So one chromosome less. So what I've written, change in chromosome number by 1. That means, uh, whether plus 1, so it can be increase or increment of chromosome number by 1 or decrement of chromosome number by 1. In this case, we can see the decrease of chromosome number by 1. Okay. Now, in case of uh, the chromosome number in set, what it means, actually, so we are having again cells, say 2n number of cells. Here are two two different chromosomes. Right? So the number of set is 2. So number of set is 2 in this case. So what it does after the non-disjunction, it produces a cell where it is having let's say if the set is 2 <coughs> so what it is producing 3n. Here the set becomes 3. So instead of, here what we can see, addition or deletion of 1, but here we are seeing addition of more chromosome in set. So what we are talking at this case, that the number of chromosome set is changing. It was previously 2n, so the set is 2, but now it is 3n, so the set is 3. It can be 4, Right? So if the set change from 2 to 3, we call it a tetraploids. If it is 4, we call it, a, if it's 3, we call it a triploid, sorry. If it is 4, we call it a tetraploid. If it is 5n, we call it a pentaploid. If it is 6n, we call it a hexaploid. Right? Now this kind of, when the increment of the chromosome number in set, we call it polyploids. Right? So that means, if we are having one chromosome, so, say two chromosomes here, previously. After the process, what we get? We get the number increased in set. So, we will be getting two new chromosomes added in this set. So, so not centromere added actually. If we talk about the sets, so we can have this. We can have this. Right? So the number will be increased by set. Actually the proper drawing will be like that. So let's say previously it is having 2n, 2 set of chromosome. Now after that what it, it will have 3 sets. So that means a new set will be added to the existing sets. Right? So it will become 3n. So it will be a triploid. Right? If it is 4n, tetraploid. 5n, remember pentaploid and so on. So these are called ploides or simply polyploids. Right? But if we are having increment or decrease of chromosome number by simply one, not in change in set. For example, the same example, same situation. Two set was there, but now due to non-disjunction, one extra chromosome arises. So the number of set does not increase. Instead, one number of chromosome is added. It will be called as somic situation. It is in the part of change in number by one. Right? And the nomenclature is this way. If it is 2n, and now due to one deletion, it will be called as, as one chromosome remains, it will be called as mono. Mono means one. Mono, somic. Right? If it is added one chromosome to two set, if one chromosome is added in this case, for example, the same situation, the cell, a set is there, now, now, now a new chromosome is added, 
So what we are having 2n plus 1. So the total number of chromosome is 3. So this will be called as a trisomic. So that's how the nomenclature comes for the change in chromosome number by 1. Okay, but both these things, as ploides and somic situation, give uh, it is arise due to the non-disjunction of chromosome during mitosis or meiosis. Okay.